I'm interviewing Madge Forrester about the time she lived out in Ballymun in the 1960s. So, um, ma'am, when did you when did you move into Ballymun? I moved into Ballymun in 1968 until February 69. And when I moved in, there were a luxury flat, absolutely beautiful. Heat all day, every day, hot water all day and every day. And to me, they were like American flats. So you liked it? Oh, I did. I loved it. I loved it. How many bedrooms? Two. Two bedrooms. And what and was A huge the... big sitting room, the kitchen at the end of it. And two bedrooms, one very, very big, and a kid's room. And uh, what were... And was it was a fine big bathroom. Okay. And um, was it all... I've done the third Like carpeted, or was it floorboards? No, um, heavy vinyl on the floors. But there was heating under oh, the floor? Yeah. All, all under heat, on the floor heating. Okay. And um, what about outside? Were the lifts all in working order? Oh, yeah. it would have been then. Yeah, sure. Everything was brand new. Everything? Yeah. And there was no, only one shop, Lipton's, which I don't know if it was open when I went there, but it opened while I was there. But there's no but shopping centre? The, no, no shopping centre. Was there a mention of the shopping centre? No, not that I can remember. No. Was there a bus outside? I don't know. I thought you said there was. 36 used to go, but I don't know where it stopped. Okay. And because I n never used the bus, I walked up to Cabra from there with two views in the pram. And what about parking outside? Was there plenty of parking? Well, there would have been then, yeah. So everything was brand new. You know, the whole lot was only brand new. It wasn't long open. I think they only opened in 66, 65, 66. So you moved into a brand new flat? Brand new. Nobody else was in it, only myself. Okay. And um, were there any playgrounds around for the kids? No, there was nothing like that then. And what else would have been around the area? Just were they just all the flats? <coughs> mm. Flats and houses. Oh, okay. And were they all full? Do you know? Oh, I couldn't. No, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. Sean McDermott Tower, I lived in. And many, many Number floors. At second floor. Oh, okay. Many floors though. Thirteen. Would you remember what number door it was? I'm trying to think now. What the numbers? 16, I think it was. 16, very much. You're not taking that in the is it? I don't think so. Well, go ahead. Uh, but was, you liked it there? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Was it quiet in the evening? Was it quiet during the day, quiet that night? Or was it, was it always busy with no, people? No, it would have been always busy. Somebody could always go buzzing around doing something or other, but um, there wouldn't have been any troubles or no. anything like that at that time. You know, and there wouldn't have been lots of cars parked no. outside? Or, no. No, there wouldn't have been, no. Were there schools in the area? We weren't old enough to go to school though, were we? There was a small little school behind where we lived. I can't remember what it was called even. But we didn't go to school no, there. No, we didn't go to school there. No. We, were too, we were too young. We were young, we? yeah. So, <coughs> you stayed there for how long? Just six months? <coughs> yeah, just six months. I'm so often sorry I left it. Right. So you, you really... Oh, I really did love it. I, re mm. I really did. Now, to me, they were beautiful, Tina. Absolutely beautiful. To me, you couldn't have got nicer, you couldn't have got better. You really couldn't. Okay. Um, so you, you you left then in the... You, did you I moved left in, in was February it summertime or... 69. I left. I was only there for six months. All right. Okay. Well, we'll just end the interview there. And Thank you for interviewing you. me. <laughs> <laughs> I really hear my advice. It's rotten. <laughs>